take him. What does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women. Assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. <sighs> oh dear. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Okay. Well, Ronald Taylor is going to have to deal with two women that he won't be able to control. Let's introduce ourselves with a nice explosion. Of course, nice explosions do take a while to set up, so let's just very carefully tweak this and twerk that. Everybody is twerking! Sorry. Uh-oh. Run! Run! Shit. Run more! Guys! What do you like? God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. Well, let's go and expose the that ass for all to posed, see. Like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Good, good, good. Now anyway, about that ass. We have to go and expose it. <laughs> Aye. My shield. Your shield's just fine, Shepard. You're a vanguard. Soup de Ha ha ha. He had plenty of choices. A little late to blame his victims. Oh, believe me, Jacob, these people never stop trying. System Down you go. Ooh, a heavy pistol. Give me the pistol. I'll take it. Jacob's theme music is so grand. It's brilliant. What are we doing? There's one. Miranda. <laughs> you are new to here. It's a waste ammo on you guys. He had his fun. Now he wants out. It's okay, Jakey. We'll make him pay. I know, Miranda. Well done for keeping on the ball there. Drawing people away. This thing is not my father. How do you train mechs? Surely they just know what they know. Oh no, there are actual guards. Okay. Can't target. 
target them. So what's going on here then? Shaky wakey. I mean, one will be one will be. There's a heavy mech that's killing me. Uh, ooh. No. Alright, let's go run somewhere. No, 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 no. No dying for me, thank you. Here we go. Alright, well, standard procedure. Let's whittle them down. Oh! Damn it, Jacob. The theme music is so good. No, sorry. Oh, Miranda. Ah. Hey! Oh! Cheetah! No shield! It's alright. We've got all we need to take this thing down now. I didn't. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be able to. Placing all bets, people. Placing all bets. Do, 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 do. Ooh, ooh. Ronald. Ronnie. What are you doing, Ronnie? You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. Yeah, being a command a captain is hard, you know? Sometimes you just have to create a brainwash rape cult. It's the only way. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave them a good start. 
He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can help these people. Servers can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an Alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Say, Jacob's no slouch in the arse department either. That was a nice walk away, Mr. Taylor. So, his dad, a bit evil. But, you know, all's well now. Kind of all is maybe gonna be well, except for everyone who died. All is about as well as it can get, all things considered. How's that? Okay? Yeah? Good. So now. All we need is for this loading screen to finish. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship. My ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we got work to do. Aye, right, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Any time, Jacob. Yay! Now everyone is happy except the people who aren't still happy, but we will help those people get happy after another chatathon. So, you know, see you later. <laughs>